Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just found out that my laptop is now broken and I have to completely depend on my desktop and it makes me really sad because um, my laptop was my first big girl investment and he's dead now, so F's in the chat. But that also means that I have to film in my desktop space with my desktop computer. It's not like the end of the world, but honestly, I'm looking at I'm looking at this footage and it looks nicer. Like usually I look like pretty chubby, you know? So I'm um, I'll take it. I think this is a more flattering angle. My plant is here. My Pikachu cup can go away, but my plant is here. He's the good boy. And yeah, so today I want to make a video that honestly I actually wanted to make this video a few months ago earlier this year because <laughs> I had always talked about bisexual people being erased in the LGBT community and it's always been a thing which is really funny because it makes me think what does the B in LGBT mean since the community doesn't think that we belong and I'm still looking for those answers let me know down below what the B in LGBT is is what is it what is the b in lgbt is it bees are bees part of the lgbt community now i had no idea so many bisexual people agreed with me if you don't know i'm bisexual i've talked about it not that much actually i was gonna sit here and be like i've talked about this quite a bit and i really don't because it doesn't matter and it also opens up the discussion with a lot of really bitter people that I'm actually not bisexual because I'm in a relationship with a man. <sighs> She's not a real bisexual. So I had ended up kind of scrapping the video for a bit while I was working on other stuff that a lot of people wanted. And a tweet came up. I'll put it right here. A tweet came up that was utter nonsense, utter, utter nonsense and i responded to it with my own tweet and thank goodness more people agreed with me not because of an ego thing but because this mindset is really 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 toxic and i don't know why the lgbt community is so toxic it it kind of popped out to me more whenever i like left feminism and stuff because a lot of times those things overlap not necessarily there are plenty of people in the LGBT community that don't mess with that stuff, but it kind of overlaps a little bit. You know, you don't, <laughs> that's not even like speculation. It does, it overlaps a little bit. And so I had a lot of issues with the LGBT community saying I'm not bisexual because I'm not a feminist. <laughs> what, <laughs> what do you mean? And so I was just really happy that, I was just really happy that my tweet reached a lot of people i had a lot of people dm me and be like thank you i'm bisexual and i deal with this all the time and i also had people that just were spewing some nonsense as they do people were using it as a platform to start talking about how trans people are evil i blocked all those people because you're just literally transphobic and that had nothing to do with the conversation and then there were all the bitter lesbians coming in saying that I shouldn't generalize lesbians while they continue to generalize bisexuals, so that is what it is. But for me, I think one of the reasons why everyone thinks I'm so, like, genuine, um, because I am, but also because I refuse to talk over people. I uh, talk about bisexual women's experiences, as I'm going to today, because I am not a bisexual man. I'm not. I'm not a man. <laughs> so that's that. And I, yeah, I just, I wanted to put that out there because I know all the time there's always people who are like, but bisexual men, but bisexual men. And it's like, mm, I can use my platform to talk about really specific groups. And that's what I'm going to do. And if you want to make your own videos on being a bisexual man, you can. But then... I noticed someone did make a video, interestingly enough, like 
a day or a couple days after my tweets, I'm glad I could inspire them. But here we are with another conversation that says, okay, but does anyone think that it's harder for bi guys compared to bi girls or am I wrong here? And I would like to put it out there to that person and the content creator that like that, you are part of the problem. This is part of the problem, honey. This is part of the problem. Our problem in the LGBT community, which I don't even really want to be associated with because everyone's insane, is this oppression Olympics. Oppression Olympics for your sexuality? For your sexuality, honey? Oppression Olympics. My guys have it harder because, like, my guys have to either act really masculine or they have to act really feminine. It's so hard. Yeah, it's also hard for bisexual women being fetishized as a sex toy for couples. It's hard, but we're not doing oppression Olympics here. I'm going to talk about my experiences as a bisexual woman, and they are not harder or invalidate the experience of bisexual men. Bisexual men, sound off in the comments down below. Let me know your experiences. I don't believe in talking over other people to give my experiences to validate their experience. It's just weird to me. I just like talking. I like talking about myself. <laughs> but yeah, so today we are going to talk about bisexual erasure and the LGBT community and how exhausting it is and some of my experiences as a bisexual woman dealing with lesbians that hate us. So <laughs> hi, welcome to my channel. I'm not wearing foundation today. I just did under eye. I just did like under eye concealer and some concealer and I put lashes on for once and I feel really cute. My freckles are showing. It's so weird. Like this has nothing to do with the video, but it's so weird like growing up having a lot of freckles and stuff and people says people would say that you know it like looks dirty, like you look like you have dirt on your face and now people are drawing freckles on themselves and go off queen, but I'm a little bit bitter. So I'm gonna read the tweets from this girl who, the tweets are still up to my knowledge. So she starts by saying, I'm not gonna like erase her like handle or whatever. I'm not going to. She put it out there as a public forum. That's just life. Don't go harass her, but that's just life. It's a public forum. She doesn't wanna like have a conversation. She just wants to talk badly about bisexuals. So yeah. If you're a bisexual woman who doesn't see herself marrying a woman, you're straight. Bye. Interesting. I didn't know that, you know, not wanting to marry a woman, even though I'm sexually attracted to women, made me straight. Interesting. She made a whole thread out of it to defend herself, and this isn't an isolated thing. There's plenty of lesbians that 100% agree with her, which is just funny time hours. What was the reason? Tired of bisexual women claiming we hate them when it's the bi-curious ones we hate. So she starts to backpedal because she started getting hate, but no, honey, you generalized all bisexual woman, women as this, right? So we're not gonna backpedal. We're not gonna... We're not gonna moonwalk out of the situation because you're starting to get hate and suddenly, oh no, 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 no. It's the vicarious women. Even though all of these sexualities start out as curiousness. I was vicarious from like, maybe, I'm gonna give a rough estimate. Don't like, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't remember when I suddenly was like, oh, girls are cute. I don't remember because it doesn't matter. But I would say probably around the age of 14, 15 when I started high school to the age of maybe around 22-ish. It doesn't matter. But around 22-ish, it was a decent chunk of my life. I was vicarious and I didn't feel like I could be included in the LGBT community because of women like this, specifically lesbians like this because lesbians love being bitter lesbians hate bisexual girls and i don't know if it stemmed in them hating men or what but this is a really common mindset and everybody starts out as a little bit curious you know like i feel like you don't really know 
for sure until you have an experience with somebody that's my personal opinion i had no idea if i was truly bisexual until i had an experience with a woman and i was like okay i enjoy this that means that i'm thoroughly sexually attracted to women you know and it sucks because you you can't explore your sexuality with mindsets like this in this community and it isolates people we're supposed to be a community that's accepting of everybody because because we are so stigmatized from like straight people and normal people which isn't a thing no one's normal but straight people you know and <laughs> It's just straight bigotry. It's straight bigotry. And we want to sit here and act like, oh, no, no, bisexual women are preying on lesbians and using them for sex. It's like, um, it seems like you're preying on bi curious girls, to be completely honest. This, like, mindset that you have to, like, lick a pussy if you want to prove that you're gay enough, that's predatory that's predatory not me being unsure if i'm truly bisexual because i grew up in a conservative republican household and was told that if i was gay i wasn't allowed to come home that's a really really big choice and i want to be a hundred percent sure in that choice and a lot of time i feel like I feel like a lot of girls don't end up telling lesbian women that they are bisexual or bi-curious because they're afraid of being excluded from groups. Whenever I was more into my feminist stuff, I was in big groups of LGBT people in my local community. And once I was like, <laughs> once once i was more open about being bisexual i felt more excluded from the community than when they ex then they assumed that i was just a straight girl that was hanging out with the lesbian you know like it's it's a thing and i don't y'all are monsters i do want to put it out there because a lot of people are going to get upset not all lesbians not all lesbians of course not of course not but you need to address the fact that there are women in this community who are like this and the more you excuse it and act like it doesn't exist or maybe low-key like or the same way a lot of lesbians are low-key like low-key i just don't want to deal with bisexual girls because they might leave me for a man that's part of the sexuality a lesbian could leave a, a girl for another girl what do you mean anybody could be broken up with at any time and because they're going to a man, it's because they're sexually attracted to both genders. What do you mean? What absolutely do you mean? What? <laughs> it just seems like you're really insecure about a woman choosing a man over you. That's what it seems like to me, personally. I don't mean to like... <sighs> I don't mean to like seem like i have a big ego but i look really cute today and i'm so used to looking like a fat piece of looking like a chubby a chubby plus size that i'm pretty happy i didn't know this setup could be so flattering even though there's a little bit too much exposure on this side but i like the sun i like the sun i look very glowy my face matches my neck which is really nice <laughs> I didn't go outside much this summer, so my foundation is actually a little bit too dark because it's like a glowy foundation. So <laughs> I've been really insecure. I'm like, I need to buy a new foundation, but it actually, it doesn't look too bad. I have, I have like contour and like bronzer on, so that doesn't help, but... So she continues to slander bisexual women, or I'm sorry, bi-curious women. We're masking bisexual with bi-curious, you know, to kind of just make it seem like we don't hate bisexuals. We hate, we hate straight women that act like bisexuals. <laughs> a mess. That's like a girl who likes sex with women but hasn't ever had sex with a man calling herself a lesbian knowing damn well it's just sex. So something interesting, um, your sexual orientation could just be sex. There's plenty of people in the world who really enjoy, knocked over my lip gloss, they really enjoy having sex with this gender, but they kind of connect more. It's just part of being bisexual. It's, you know, I don't, does this, does this mean that any lesbian who has ever had sex with a man 
isn't a real lesbian. I'm just, I'm confused. I didn't know there were all these rules. Why are there all these rules to the LGBT community? Because on one, on one like thing, we're saying that sexuality is a spectrum and your sexuality can change at any time and you should be you should be open to trying all different things but then on the other hand we have all these rules that exclude people from the community so i'm a little bit confused i'm a little bit confused i will stay confused the entirety of this video she still sees herself romantically only with men sex doesn't really determine your sexuality also i'm not here to debate this i said what i said feel how you feel and go it's funny how whenever people are really, really wrong about something, they're like, I'm not here to debate this. It's just my opinion. You're generalizing entire groups of people. People are going to correct you on this and give you the proper information. If you don't want to debate a subject like this, don't post it online because you're wrong. It is totally okay if you're a lesbian and only want to date lesbians. That's totally okay. I don't want to date a lesbian that doesn't think my freaking sexuality is valid. I don't. I, I don't. I don't want to associate with you. I've had situations. <sighs> I had a situation where I was dating a girl for a few weeks and her and her friends decided that I wasn't gay enough for this lesbian girl because I hadn't been with any girls before. I asked her to explain it, I asked if I did something ignorant or wrong, and I like genuinely liked her, and nope, I didn't do anything wrong, I just needed more experience. I don't want to be sexually promiscuous with a ton of women to prove my worth in the LGBT community. Hooking up isn't something I'm interested in. I really don't like having sex with people unless I feel a really strong emotional connection to them. That's how I am. I don't, I don't think it's wrong to have a lot of sex and be super promiscuous, be safe, but I don't want to have to have this like punch card, this like bisexual worth punch card, like listing out all the lesbians that I had sex with. And it's interesting that people want stuff like that because then women like this are mad because bisexual girls are just having meaningless sex with them. It's like, I hate this community. This is why I don't really f with any LGBT spaces anymore. It really isn't. Also, the whole feminism thing. Back when I left feminism, a lot of f LGBT people don't like me no more and think I'm a n So it's just like... You don't, you don't want us to, <laughs> I don't know what you want. I genuinely don't know what you want. I'm supposed to be really promiscuous and have sex with a lot of women, which makes me really, really uncomfortable because I don't ha like having random sex. I'm supposed to do that so I can prove my worth to date a woman. I don't want to. I don't want to and it sucks because a lot of women subscribe to this stuff and it makes dating women so hard dating women comes with its own thing women are psychologically a lot <laughs> but it's like this is why I kind of just I don't know I didn't pick my boyfriend because he is a man and I like men more than women I don't think I have really a bias, but I have dated more men because my sexuality and sexual identity, I felt like I had to repress it because of where I came from. And now I'm more open to it, but I've been with my boyfriend a whole year now. We're past our year date and I don't see us breaking up. And I'm not going to go out of my way to specifically look to date women that's just weird i choose who i want to date based on us getting along having similar interests me and my boyfriend both like anime we both like video games we both like certain kinds of memes we both have the same humor we both like certain food like we both like cats we both like animals you know it's just like we both mesh well and that's why i chose to be with him not because i like men more and it's i just don't know what i don't know what you guys want in conclusion bisexual women are okay it's the bicurious one claiming to be bisexual that i don't f with find out who you are cool but don't say don't just say i'm bi when you're only looking from it from a sex point of view relationships are a part too sex is a part as well <laughs> there are plenty of men and women 
who both enjoy, you know, having sex with certain people. There are men who want to be with a woman so they can have their own biological baby and they want to have sexual adventures with men because they enjoy guy guy sex because yaoi's cool and it's that's fine that's fine people act like we're being super deceptive and i'm so tired of being bisexual and being treated like i'm this huge who is just trying to everybody and just wants to everybody and has no interest in love and relationships it's like you're just making that up because you're a bigot you're just a straight up bigot in the community and no one wants to talk about people in the community doing stuff wrong because we're all lgbt and that's okay but when it's hate towards a minority group in the community it's fine i just don't get it and like i said there are plenty of women who agree with her she isn't like this opinion isn't taboo or weird it's pretty normal it's pretty normal and this girl is like just checking in on you ever since you told the truth to buy girls and they tried to jump you i have your back what truth what truth like i it's almost like i can't choose the sexual orientation that i have interesting really hot spicy take that people can't choose their sexual orientation so I'm not just gonna date girls to prove that I'm gay enough for this community. It's not gonna happen. It's super predatory and it's really gross. People are still bisexual even if they don't wanna date the same gender. They're still bisexual. It has nothing to do with marriage. Um, whoever you wanna marry isn't your sexual identity. That doesn't even make sense. I'm gonna be real, I just don't really enjoy being in LGBT spaces. They cannibalize each other, these oppression Olympics things. Bi guys have it so much harder than bi girls. Does anyone else agree? And it's just like, no, <laughs> I don't agree because I'm an adult. I can see both sides. I gave my experiences as a bisexual woman. If you are a bisexual man, leave it down below. I would love to hear your experiences as well i have seen a few people have made videos on this because they were inspired by my tweet <laughs> taking down that girl cool awesome glad i could inspire you also i have a TikTok now because i want to make cringe um i want to make cosplay cringe really bad and other kinds of just straight up cringe um tiktok really isn't that bad i will put it right here but I'll also my name is just siren cove look me up but yeah i don't know if there's a link it's an app i'm not really sure but it's not really that bad i <laughs> some stuff is really funny because it's like ironically really funny like the divorce tiktoks and people like cops sitting in their car doing tiktoks instead of working that's really interesting i'm sure that's helping i'm sure that's really really that's just my tax dollars at work right there but yeah thank you guys for watching this video love to hear your experiences down below follow me on tiktok i will have a video out on tiktok soon i'm still learning how to use it it's super weird follow me on twitter instagram it's siren cove uh feel free to pledge on patreon if you would like i am behind on my patreon photos i know i am it's been it's been hard having the energy to take really cute cosplay photos because i'm working on not being fat anymore and my confidence has been pretty low so i understand that people are mad at me i'm trying my best and i am sorry but yeah that's all i have for today's video and bye